Hi everybody. So I decided um, via my mailbox or book hauls I was trying to put in my to be read stack um, and I'm going to change that. I'm going to do what I hope would be my to be read stack for uh, April. I'm going to show you the books that I finished so far in April and the books that I plan to read in April. So I'm going to hope that I can keep up with my stack because um, I get Nook books more often um, and they're usually the more ones that I want to read faster. So I've been kind of slack. Uh, so I'm going to show you the books that I read and then the books that I plan to read so far in April. Um, I started off with Fallen, which at first I was reading and I didn't really like. And then uh, about 100 pages in, I fell in love with it and I couldn't stop. So then I read the second book, Torment. And I read this in about 24 hours because I couldn't put it down because it was so good. And if you want to know what I thought about them, I'll put the link to my blog in the bottom bar, and then you can go and you can look there. And then this is another book that I wasn't really into. I finished it. I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but it, it was good. It was Bumped by Megan McCafferty. There's going to be two books in the series. I'm definitely going to read the, the second one because I don't want to half read a series. I really, that bothers me. So I'm going to definitely, um, going to definitely pick it up uh, when it comes out. Uh, I believe it's coming out this year. And then this other book that I read, and it's the third in the trial series, and that's what the, that's what the cover looks like, the little blue book. Um, all three of them I loved. Um, on my Nook, they come up to be about 600 pages, um, maybe a little bit less than that. I'm sorry, there's there's two be read books that I have to grab up on here, but um, yeah, they're they're really good books. I like them. I didn't expect them to be as good as they are. But again, if you want to know what a full extent of what I thought about it, link is in the bottom bar. The Nook books that I got, well, the NetGalley books that I put on my Nook, I might not be able to read them. Uh, it's Everything I Was by Corinne Demis, uh, Lost in the River of Grass by Ginny, Ginny, Warby, and Shine by Lauren Miracle. Well, at least that's how I would assume it would be. Um... When I load them on my Nook, they freeze, and I can't even, like, get to the first page. Um, Shine, I got to page 20 on, but, um, so I don't know what's gonna, um, happen with those. I may or may not read them, depending on if my Nook stops being an idiot. Okay. I have a lot of books here, so I'm gonna go through them. Okay, Seventeen Summer was in my library book haul about a couple weeks ago, um, when I did my nine library book hauls this, uh, in March. I haven't gotten around to it. This is the last library book in that pile I need to read. And it's probably like way late. But at this point I don't even care. Um, it's one I started reading. I got a couple of pages in. It's not that bad. I'm probably going to finish it uh, within the next couple days. At least I'm going to try to. And then I got Sing You Home by Jodi Picoult. At least I think that's how you say it. Uh, this is a pretty thick book. Um, she's a very pretty, very pretty lady. I have to say, and this book is 461 pages. That's a lot. Um, I have a lot of her other books, um, on my shelf that you can't see up there. Um, most of them I've read, I've read a couple of them. So, that, I, I know that one's gonna be good. This is what my grandmother had given me, Debbie McComber, uh, The Shop on Blossom Street. It's about these four women who all have different things going on with them, and they have to go to a knitting club once a week. So this um, should be very interesting. I can't wait to read it. I've had it on my to-be-read stack for a while, so now I'm glad I'm finally getting around. It's given to me by my best friend, who does not read, but she says they're good books. Um... A Rush of Wings by Kristen... I don't even know how to pronounce her last name, so I'm not going to try. Then there's Twilight by the same woman. Kristen, that last name there. And then all these were in a recent haul um, video. And maybe I'll eventually get around to reading the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants books. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like them because I don't know if they're young adult or middle grade, but they're all pretty thick, so just keep me busy for a while. And then Stolen Innocence. 
So most of these books people have seen already. On my blog I have a, uh, a what am I reading and that is updated constantly when I finish a book, when uh, there's a new book I'm going to read that I got. Uh, I'm going to try and not pick up books when I go to the library when I bring those, um, when I bring these three back because that's my problem. I'll go and I'll go and I'll be like, ooh, I want to read this one and then I want to read this one and then I'll pick them all up and then I'll be like, wait, but I have all these books at home I have to read. I'm going to try not to do that, but I can't make any promises. And I have good news. I self-published a book of short stories and poems of mine. I will place a link to that in the bottom bar if you wish to purchase a copy. Um, it is a bit pricey, um, but that's all on the site that has nothing to do with me. And uh, yeah, I would really like it if you bought a copy. Uh, it should take about two weeks for you to get it. Uh, but I will be doing a giveaway on it soon when I can get my hands on a couple copies because like I said it takes like two weeks to get them so I don't know uh, if you are a blogger and you would like to do a giveaway of this book um, let me know and when you buy a copy um, I'll give you my address you can have it shipped to me I'll sign it and then send it back to you and send it to you this way you only have to pay one shipping fee uh, I'm not sure how much a shipping fee is though, but just inform me and um, let me know. I would be more than happy to do so. Oh, and Where She Went by Gail Foreman, the second book to If I Stay, that was also released on Tuesday. So definitely pick it up because it's a powerful book. I haven't read it yet, but my best friend did and she cried. So if you like the first one, definitely go pick up the second one. Okay, bye everybody.